Hi, today I'll be doing a detailed review of Global GPT, a platform that's gaining a lot of traction lately. Now this isn't just another AI chatbot. Global GPT is aiming to be a one-stop platform for accessing the best AI models in the world, all in one place. In this video, we'll talk through everything you need to know about it, from what it is and how it works, to its main features, the pricing, the pros and cons, and finally, whether or not it actually stands a chance against giants like ChatGPT and Google Germany. Let's get started. Global GBT positions itself as a multi-model AI platform, giving access to over 100 smart agents and tools powered by leading AI engines like GPT-4, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini 1.5, Mid Journey version 6.1, and many others. Now, what does that mean in simple terms? Think of it this way instead of hopping between multiple platforms just to test out OpenAI's GPT 4, or Google's Gemini, or Anthropic's Cloud, or image tools like DALL E and Mid Journey, Global GPT brings all of them under one roof. This platform acts more like a hub for creativity, productivity, and problem solving catering to writers, developers, marketers, researchers, designers, you name it. So whether you're trying to write an article, design an image, build code, or brainstorm a business idea, Global GBT is designed to handle it. It's kind of like an AI app store, where each tool or model is a different app built for a purpose, but all accessible in one sleek, intuitive interface. What immediately stands out is how clean and well organized the platform is. Everything is categorized into workflows like chat, image, search, code, and more, making it easy to find exactly what you need even if you're new to AI. Now let us talk about the main features. These are the categories I earlier mentioned, chats. Here is where you can access conversational agents based on different models like GPT-4, Cloud, Gemini, and more. Each one brings its own strengths. For example, GPT-4 is known for reasoning and coding. Cloud 3.5 is great for summarization and instruction following. And Gemini 1.5 is fast and can handle larger context. This is especially useful if you want to test or compare responses across models without needing separate accounts. Image. Under the Image tab, you'll find access to DALL-E 3 and Mid Journey. You can generate photorealistic images, digital art, or concept visuals, whether it's for a product launch, YouTube thumbnail, or social media. And get this, you don't even need a Discord account to use Midjourney here. Search. This is for people who want faster, AI-powered web search and data lookup. It's great for researchers, students, or professionals who don't want to scroll through 10 Google pages. Code. This section helps with coding problems, generating entire apps, or debugging existing code. You can specify the language, the prompt style, and even get suggestions for improvements. Work and academic. If you're working on reports, proposals, essays, or presentation, these are tools for paraphrasing, citation generation, document summarization, translation, and more. Entertainment and creativity. Do you want to come up with game ideas or scripts, jokes or music prompts? This section is pure fun. It is great for creators who just want to explore new ideas or break out of creative blocks. And the beauty is you don't have to be a prompt engineering expert to use any of these tools. They've made it plug and play. Now let us talk about the pricing. The platform follows a freemium model. So yes, Many tools are free to try. You can test various models and features without entering a credit card. However, for advanced functionality or heavy use, like frequent mid-journey renders or cloud-powered reports, you will need to opt for the pay-as-you-go credit system. Prices start as low as $1, which is honestly one of the more flexible pricing setups that I've seen. You're not locked into a monthly subscription and you only pay when you need more power. This is especially good for students or freelancers who don't want recurrent charges. Let us talk about the pros and cons of using Global GPT. First, the pros. All-in-one access. No technical hassle. It is affordable and scalable. And there's a streamlined UI. How about the cons? 
Not original tech. Global GBT does not create its own models. It relies on existing AI engines. Vocational model inconsistencies. Results vary based on the AI model used, which can be a mixed bag if you don't know which is best for your task. Learning curve for newbies. With over 100 tools, some users may feel overwhelmed at first. So here's the big question. Can Global GBT really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with platforms like ChatGPT or Google Gemini? Well, yes and no. If you're looking for flexibility, variety, and one dashboard to rule them all, then Global GBT is hard to beat. The fact that you can interact with multiple top-tier models all in one place makes it ideal for people who are constantly switching between creative, academic, and technical tasks. However, it's important to remember that Global GBT is more of a bridge. It's a gateway to access the best AI tools rather than a developer of its own groundbreaking AI. If you are looking to try other alternatives, you may explore Perplexity AI, Google Gemini, and ChatGPT. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.